the no-code app development platform Bubble.io just raised $100 million. And in this video, we're going to talk about how that impacts you as someone who is thinking about or maybe already building a no-code app. Now, make sure you stick around until the end because this can affect you in a few different ways. And I want to make sure you understand each of those. Now, first, if you're new around here, my name is Kristen, and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help business owners and industry experts build custom apps so they can either start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding and with no technical background required. So first, let's talk about how Bubble has said they'll be using this money because the way they're using it does have an impact on you as the person who's building an app. So one of the first things they've said is that they'll be hiring more engineers to help work on the platform itself and continue enabling their own users, Bubbles users, to scale their apps even further and further. Now, this is really important because you, like many other people when when stepping into the no-code space have the question of whether no-code tools are really going to allow them to scale their apps. This is, it's a big question, understandably, that a lot of people have. Now, we have other videos that deep dive into this and, and how to really think about this and plan for this, but this gives us a, a good opportunity to talk further about it. So the reality is no code tools are, are relatively new. And so what's happening is the, the users of no code tools, maybe you yourself, are currently pushing no code tools to their, to their limits. And those no code tools, when that happens, want to continue supporting their users. And so they continue to develop and enhance their own platforms, their own tools. And Bubble is the same. And this is one of the big things they want to focus on as their own users' apps scale, the apps that have been built on Bubble, Bubble wants to stay ahead of them and make sure that people can continue to scale their apps to higher and higher levels, more users, higher uh, volume of usage on the app. And this is important because with Bubble specifically, it, it really just proves to you that they they want to enable their own users to grow bigger and bigger businesses, really bigger and bigger apps. And it's important to the no code space in general, because this is the case with most platforms, right? Because why would any platform or any tool not want to scale with its user base? But the fact that a big chunk of this funding is going to that specifically, it shows you that no code apps are continuing to grow and scale. And this for you, if you are currently thinking about building an app or, or maybe you already have a, a no-code app that's been launched, this should give you a ton of confidence. Not only can you feel more confident that your own app can continue to scale without you having to worry about maybe switching to another platform or something like that, but it should also give you confidence with the no-code space in general and, and really just show you how much it is growing and kind of start to reveal what the future of no-code really looks like. And that's, it's an exciting thing for, for us, certainly, but for anyone who is building a no-code app. Now, one of the other things Bubble has said they'll be focusing this money on is just creating more education around the product, making that learning curve uh, a little bit easier or, or bringing it down a little bit. And this is really important because even though you are using no-code tools, you still have to understand the tool. You still have to understand how to apply the tool in the right ways. And this is true of any no-code app development platform. And there is a learning curve that that's just a reality you know you you can't expect to come on to something that truly is kind of like a blank canvas and gives you a ton of power and a ton of control and not expect for there to be a learning curve so it's there but bubble is actively and, and even more so now trying to lower that learning curve which is going to make using the tool coming onto the tool and scaling your app on top of the tool 
even easier. And so if you are in the beginning stages of building your app and you, you know, you feel that learning curve, which is totally normal, well, expect for that to continue coming down lower and lower and lower. Now, we personally help uh, a lot of our own entrepreneurs bring that learning curve down as well. And what's really great about this is, you know, as a no code app entrepreneur, you probably have never launched an app before. And so when you're doing that, there's a lot to learn. You have to learn how to use the no-code platform, but you also need to understand how to strategically build an app. How do you even plan on how to build an app? How do you launch an app? How do you form your marketing, your messaging, your sales? How do you do user outreach? I mean, how do you do all of these things outside of just using the tool? And with a lower learning curve or a learning curve coming down and down and down over time, that means that you can continue to put more and more and more focus into these other areas as well. And we see this with our own entrepreneurs because we help them with all of these things. And, and this, at least for us personally, allows us to help them in these other areas even more. And this is, it's such an advantage. And so for you personally, if you, if you are using Bubble specifically, then you have this to look forward to, which is really exciting. Now, they also mentioned they'll be using a good chunk of this funding to help connect with universities and introduce no-code tools in, within universities and colleges. Now, this to me is really interesting because it again gives us some insight into what the future of no code and, and even beyond no code, what the future of business and business impact might look like. Because, you know, when I look at our own clients, our own entrepreneurs, they're building apps that have significant impacts, sometimes on themselves. You know, maybe they're building an app in order to launch a new business, they want to support their family. They want to have a different lifestyle, and that's very impactful for them. Oftentimes, their apps are impacting their communities, helping to connect people, helping to make business life processes just easier and, and more convenient. I mean, these apps are having a really big impact. Now, imagine having learned how to use no-code tools in school. Imagine having that be the norm for how you yourself can make an impact on maybe your own life, or your family's life, or maybe your own community, your own business. Imagine learning that in school. And now kind of think ahead a little bit to where using no-code tools in school is the norm. Think about the evolution in our communities, in, in our world, really, that that can prompt the accessibility of being able to build tools really easily that can help connect people, that can help make services a lot more widely available, that can truly change lives. Think about the really just the ability to eliminate the barrier to entry and to be, being able to launch a tool like this. If you start to think about that, and how it can have a broader impact on the world. I mean, it really is amazing to think about. And the fact that Bubble is going to be dedicating money to help enable people in college to learn these tools early on and to, to make these processes, these tools a part of just you know, normal learning, <laughs> normal life. It, it's an exciting, it's an exciting future to think about really. Now I know we're talking about bubble specifically in this video, but another thing I want to touch on is the fact that, you know, almost every single morning when I wake up and I'm reading the news, there's another article about another no code tool raising millions of dollars in some different round of funding. And this is important because while Bubble has just raised a lot of money, they're not alone. This is happening constantly now. And this tells us that no code really is the future. 
I mean, the convenience that it offers people, you know, whether you are using a platform that's going to help you launch a new business, or maybe you're using a platform that's going to help you expand your existing business. You know, maybe you're using a platform that's just going to help you create one automated business process that can reduce, you know, just um, tons and tons of manual processes in your business. The, the applications, the use cases could go on and on and on, but the convenience that no code gives in being able to create automated processes, it's just, it's amazing when the alternative is to either pay for usually pretty expensive existing software that kind of forces you to compromise because it's not specific to your needs, or, you know, another alternative is hiring out a traditional development team, which is just not realistic for most people. Uh, the convenience is just massive. And of course, the cost is another big factor, you know, going back to thinking about outsourcing to traditional development agencies. You know, I personally don't think that's ever going to go away because there, there are going to be needs for that, use cases for that. Developers will start um, you know, using no-code tools and their different programming languages in unison. I mean, they already are, but the fact that you, as someone who maybe wouldn't be able to even think about launching an app because of the $100,000 a traditional development agency might quote you or maybe already has quoted you, um, you know, now you can't now you can actually come in and for a really low cost, get started and actually launch something on your own. And with the speed, you know, the speed of getting to market, your ability to launch an app quickly, uh, really in a matter of a few months, if you want to, you know, that it really enables you to have an idea, validate an idea and test it uh, almost instantaneously, relatively speaking. And then on top of that, you know, the speed isn't just an advantage you get from using no code in the beginning when you're launching, but when you start bringing users on board and you start getting feedback and you need to iterate, well, you can do it immediately. You don't have to wait for a development team to get there. You don't have to schedule this in. You, you know, you can just iterate quickly and move on and grow. I mean, the, the advantages and the benefits that you can leverage from using no code are, are just huge. And with the fact that so many no code tools are raising uh, money and, and just growing like crazy right now, it shows you that those advantages are certainly no secret. And so what I wanna leave you with today is uh, really just a call to action. You know, no code is the future. There is, there's so much growth in this space right now. And there are a ton of people who are now launching apps, people without technical backgrounds. And you can expect that number to grow just like crazy, really. And if you're thinking about getting started, but maybe you're busy, it just hasn't been the right time. Well, if yesterday wasn't the right time, then make today the right time. You need to do that because you have so much you can take advantage of and you have so much opportunity available to you. And that's going to keep growing and growing and growing. And the volume of people coming into the space and launching their own apps, it's going to keep growing and growing and growing. So again, if you felt like yesterday wasn't the right time, then I'm here to tell you that today is the right time. It just is. So get started. Now, if you are getting started with your app, maybe you've started, you're in the early stages or you want to build an app, but you want to do it correctly because maybe you haven't launched an app before. We have a free training over at coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop that will walk you through how to strategically plan out the development, testing, and launch phases with your app. It'll help you uh, think about no-code tools in the right way and really just get you moving forward in the right direction. So if you are one of the many people coming into the no-code space and you want to make sure you are on the right path to launch your, your app correctly, head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you in 
thinking about how to look at no-code tools right now and thinking about how they can benefit you now and in the future. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.